Well, not everybody good? Yeah. Boy, God damn, like, y'all don't say y'all good for me? Yeah. I got a little joke coming in. Hey, but there's a lot of crazy shit going on. Do y'all read the Huffington Puff? Anybody, y'all don't even know about this shit. So y'all don't Y'all never heard about the Huffington Puff? Yeah, we heard about it. Y'all that up. So you know about it, okay. Well, it's true stories that happen that you would never think that would happen. Like, I can tell you some shit, but you can go look it up. In Atlanta, they had a guy breaking in people's houses and sticking their fingers in their booty hole. And when they wake up, <laughs> they see him jumping out the window. So they had a white guy dial 911, and they, I'm reading the article. What I'm saying in my head is like, nigga, he said when he saw the guy, that, that's what he had on, he said a hoodie. If you break in my house, you, you're not, you not leaving out of my house. That's not a description. You can't describe that shit. Somebody breaking your house, I ain't no older dude with a hoodie. Nah, my nigga, I'm coming to K. We gotta chase you. You might have to catch you naked. You nothing to dig in my ass and think you're gonna make a wave. I don't know who the fuck you are. Like, I can't just say it, a nigga with a hoodie. How you, you can't explain that shit to your kids. Like, damn, you can't go to the room and do your homework. And you got a nigga playing your ass with a hoodie. You can't tell nobody no shit like that. I got to fire that nigga and kill him. That could be your next door neighbor, a co worker. They come by giving you doubt, you don't know who the hell that is? Nah, oh, man. You can't have that shit like that going on. That's crazy. But I read that article. Y'all gotta check it out. I went to my cousin, had a little, little 4th of July party. He gay. I don't have nothing against gay people. If you didn't hear that, that's your thing. Just do what you do. But certain things I don't appreciate what y'all do. Like, I go to my cousin's party. All his friends there, you know, they got the food. So, they're going to give me some food before I go to work. On the grill, they got nothing but hot dogs. And I'm sitting there like, so, you know, me, I'm, I'm on the way. You no, know, the dude, the dude on the grill, he got his shirt off. He just flipping the shit and nipples and shit pierced. So I'm like, no, I'm on the way. Another guy come back out with some more hot dogs. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give it a minute. Cause I don't wanna just say, hey man, y'all got more kind of meat back there. You don't, you don't wanna say that shit. Like, that could be some kind of cold or something, you know? So I, I played it off. I just, I'm gonna wait and see what's gonna happen. My cousin came downstairs, I left to talk to him. But before that, I see a dog. I'm mean, gonna see this dude walk past the patio glass. The nigga got a hot dog in his hand. Just a hot dog, no bread than that. He just walking around, just eating a hot dog. So I'm like, damn, that's, that's crazy. So I told my cousin, let me get, and y'all got a statement or anything. He's like, no. Nah. I said, well, just give me three hot dogs, and I'll take that shit to work with me because I work at night. And I just, you know, get the fuck on. So he put the hot dog in the clear Tupperware bowl. And I'm looking, I'm like, okay, uh, do I need to go in the kitchen and get the bread? He said, they didn't have no bread. So I'm thinking, like, I'm like, what the fuck you mean you have no bread? Was y'all out? He said, nah, we just walking around eating hot dogs. I'm like, who the fuck walking around just eating hot dogs with no, with no bread, y'all? And the crazy part about it, the guy on the grill asked me, because I was licking, he asked me, like, did I want a hot dog? You know, I do, but I don't. You know, I, I do, but I don't want him to, you know, to get a hot dog. You know what I'm saying? Because the one I was licking, they were busted, had the juice in it, and I like, my guy, like, be I don't want him to be like, oh, he's like a bad boy. So, you know, so I don't want to, I don't want to get him no, I don't want no insinuation or no shit like that, you know? So I was like, no, I'm just going to wait. So, you know, when I told him about it, I'm, I'm like, uh, cause I'm not, I'm not even gonna walk out of your house with, with no goddamn hot dog in the bun. Like, I, I, you keep this shit. Like, y'all ain't even got juice running down in your home. I can't, I can't do that. You gotta fuck on. Let them hot dogs there. Nah, my nigga, you can keep that shit. Right in midtime. You gotta watch this shit because gay people do shit that, like, my wife friends, they and I, and I watch how they talk. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna make sure I get caught up in no colds and shit like that. Like they been talking about, oh, we had a ball. And I don't want to be like, okay, y'all do y'all thing. I don't know what kind of ball y'all had, but y'all just go ahead and ball out. You know, just do your thing. And then in his neighborhood in Midtown, no lie. It seemed like every mailbox is open in Midtown. I'm like, why did the tar is built out? You know, like that don't, you got mail on the, on the front of the tar lights and white shit on it. I'm like, everybody mailbox tar is open. That don't look about it in the meantime. Like everybody just mouth just waiting on the mailman to come by, stick something in it. I'm like, nah, because I can't, can't come over here and see you no more. Can't do that. And his sister, like my uncle, he's a preacher. 
Now, I don't, I don't understand how you can go to church and preach on a Sunday morning knowing your son brought us up some deep. Saturday night, you know, they don't go together with me. Now, you can't come and tell me shit in church. I don't want to hear that. It's daughter gay. You go by house, she got a closet for the deal, though. They got a linen and everything on them. Like, you need to just trash all that shit, <laughs> throw that shit away and start over. I almost shot one of them. I was trying to hide my gun in the closet, she had a little party. Whole goddamn deal don't fell on the show. I'm trying to mess it out. That motherfucker like a person. I'm gonna put the gun up to the dickhead. I'm gonna be glad. I'm out, y'all. Thank y'all. Get on the damn deal. What you want to do? Yeah, it's crazy coming.